Hey everyone, I hope you are well. It's been a while since I made a video actually, but I thought, you know what? There's something really burning on my mind. So I thought, you know what? Let me do it. Um, so what I want to talk today is about is should the privilege represent the marginalized? Now it's been on my mind for a while actually. Um, so I watched like TV, read articles, watched the news and all of that kind of stuff. And um, it's really bothered me that how a lot of people who are going through a lot of, of issues right now um, are struggling and the people that speak for them, do they really understand what they're actually going through? Um, it's all good to have a million followers or so many people that know you and you occasionally speak out, you go home, live your happy life and you probably have forgotten about what you're talking about later on but you looked so passionate about it. Um, yeah, so I'm just questioning that, should the privilege uh, represent the marginalized like I said it's great but does it really come from the depth of their heart now for me anyway um, privilege is socially given it's not really chosen and is independent of attitude or kind of like a belief system and uh, I kind of think that believing in equality between races in the US for example and even in the UK it doesn't cancel out the fact that um, you have white privilege of a person and at the same time, having a structural privilege often leads to certain behaviours through the people you hang around, the sort of things that are normal to you, and the tendency to kind of justify privilege that exists under human society since social strat stratification started around the time of agriculture. Now, um, white privilege has been talked about amongst many people. Um, it doesn't mean that white people don't struggle, it just means that they have different, different struggles or their quality of struggles are different to those are people in other racial groups um, and they which as white people are kind of regarded as the default the default um, group by a majority of systems they interact with and things such as dominant uh, in various fields of sport television I mean movies Hollywood just turning your screen you'll see lots of white people um, and generally they're widely accepted uh, favored and so on um, so yeah that's just one thing which I probably don't want to get too far into because it's talked about a lot and there's another thing as well which is can a man be a feminist I don't think a man a man can be a fem feminist because feminism feminism is of a lived experience so women who have been feminists um, have experienced certain things that a man cannot but men should be allies and help women to say we should be moving forward but I don't think men can actually be feminist or call themselves feminist um, now another thing for me is people who have grown up with privileged backgrounds um, even those who are black Asian and so on um, there's a lot of black people across the world it doesn't matter what country you're from they're everywhere um, some have not had great backgrounds some have had absolutely amazing backgrounds where they don't have to do anything they just go to school go to private schools go to the top universities live life and they're oblivious to anything else that's going on some are uh, sitting on probably I don't know, back at their pool or in a boat somewhere, just chilling out. They have no care in the world, but there are people out there who are actually struggling. Um, now, there's a program on BBC called The Big Questions, which is hosted by Nikki Campbell. And a few weeks ago, they had a question saying, is Britain still racist? And one of the panel on there was um, Afua Hurst, who's a writer and a broadcaster. Um, and for me, one question that Nikki asked her when he was talking about race and representation in television or whatever and getting jobs and people having to work twice as hard um, and he asked a question and said well you've um, been to a great university um, you went to Oxford University she studies PPE philosophy economics uh, philosophy politics and economics got that right uh, she went to private school um, her family have done incredibly well for themselves this is nothing to take away from them um, they've done great for themselves which is great um, and she's a massive advocate for representation marginalization um, inequality and so on and she has a book called Brit ish in, uh, in brackets um, so yeah she she's on these panels talk about um, the struggle of black people or ethnic minorities and so on which are true but she hasn't really lived that experience of being marginalized because she's had a great upbringing um, She's been to Cape, she's been to Oxford University, studied PPE, um, has, has been a journalist for The uh, Guardian, which is one of the biggest newspapers in the country. Um, she's had a really, really good career and that's not to take anything away from her. She deserves it because she's worked hard for it. She's been given positions which have got her to that place. Um, but can she really represent those people who are really struggling out there that have to think, what are we going to eat today? Or even, 
I can't even send my kids to a good school. They have to do exams which are really hard just to get into grammar school, um, so on and so forth. Can't even send their kids to extra tutoring um, for them to get into great good schools. Can't pay for them funding um, and so on. Um, so I, I really thought, you know, that's a really good question. Does she really know what it means for a person who's suffering? Um, not because privilege comes in all different shapes and sizes. You could be middle class, upper class, very, very at the top, um, or even just can just get by. Um, so yeah, it's very, very interesting. Um, and another person who's on TV quite a lot, David Lammy, for various reasons over the last couple of weeks. Um, he went to Harvard. This was during post grad anyway, um, and he's had a good career now. He's an MP, earns quite a lot of money. Good for him and um, Diane Abbott, Labour MP as well. She went to Cambridge University. Um, Sam Juma, Conservative, um, he went to Oxford University. Um, so these people are doing great things. They've got privilege now. They've got them privileged positions, or so on and so forth. Um, now it's not to say that you're a bad person if you have privilege. Um, but I guess it's what you do with it. Now just a few days ago I was triggered by listening to BBC Radio 5 Live and they were talking about the knife crime epidemic which is happening in London where there's just been a collateral of um, events going on, people just stabbing each other and so on and so forth. Um, now there was a presenter who was talking to a former gang member who's now working in the community and helping those who actually need the help and um, the presenter asked him so what should we be doing um, and it was funny because the guy responded who was on the phone he just said sorry mate but you actually can't do anything um, and the reason he was saying that's because he hasn't actually lived a life of gang crime and knife crime and all of that kind of stuff so he was saying you basically don't understand what's going through with these people because first of all you need to understand the motivation why they're in that situation um, why, how they've got there and what can be done to solve that because um, having lived it is different from being an outsider having perspective of um, just saying oh these people are thugs they're on the road and all this kind of stuff and um, they should be doing more things or doing better things with their lives but it's not that there's so much more behind it and he was just basically saying um, it's not going to happen overnight you can't just go on the road and say oh you stop that because um, it's not that's not how that's not how it works um so yeah it's it's a very very complicated topic um and just as well on Victoria live which was on Monday morning um she had a q and a with a, a number of people who are working in the community form gang members um parents who've lost their child um uh, and so on and so forth and then um, they basically said well it's all good for you to do this q and a um but people at home will watch it and no they won't do anything about it they'll just sit at home but we today are going to go out at four o'clock after this recording to go out into the community whether victoria dubsha did that as well probably not um so yeah this is the thing when we have privilege what do we do with it can we really represent those who are marginalized those who are going through tough things um and so on and so forth um even for myself I know there's so many things, I, see, I don't know, seeing homeless people on the street, um, helping a friend out who's in need and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I do have the power to make the change, but sometimes I don't because I'm just caring about myself and we have to think about humanity. Um, and I know that I should be doing better as well um, to help those people who are in need, who are going through tough times, um, those who have lost their lives and so on and so forth, whether it's financially giving up my time and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, this is just to raise discussion and conversation. What do you guys think? Do you think those people in privilege should be in those positions? Like I've touched on earlier on um, with some other people who are in positions which are very, very high up in society. Um, but they go home at the end of the day and live in their massive house, penthouse, drive five cars, have lots of money, can send their kids to private school, which is not a bad thing. Um, like I said, privilege um, is comes in all shapes of form and sizes as well um so yeah let me know what you think look at the link below um just uh share your comment and as well i'll be talking about this on my radio show on sunday on csrfm.com 97.4 you can find me on www.csrfm.com sunday five to seven if you want to contribute you ha and you have, haven't had the chance to do it now um make sure um you listen on sunday um get involved and yeah see you there and have a good week